In this video, we are going to look into reliability analysis. How do you do reliability analysis in blue sky statistics? It's pretty plain and simple. Let's say if I'm interested in checking the reliability for this scale, CSR, corporate social responsibility, it's actually measured using eight different items. So in order to do this, what you need to do is you need to go to analysis, reliability analysis, reliability analysis, cron batch alpha. I'm interested in CSR, so just select the first one and use shift and press the last one and all the eight items are selected. Put it in here. Enter items above that are reverse code. So if you have got reverse coded items, this is something that SPSS doesn't do for you. So you have to do reverse coded yourself. If any of these items are reverse coded, just put them in here so that uh, the blue sky statistics software can take care of it. In this case, there are no reverse items. So just press OK. And here are your results. So the overall cron batch alpha value is 0.8367. The standardized value is 0.8375. There are other values as well. There's this mean and standard deviation as well, the median value, but we might be interested in mean standard deviation. And yes, we are interested in cron batches alpha. Now, what will happen or what if in this case, the reliability is really good. It's very good. Actually, it's over 0.8. So if, if you are inter interpreting reliability, it has to be over 0.7. So this means good reliability. If it's over 0.8, it's very good. If it's over 0.9, it's excellent. If it's point, oh, greater than 0.6, it's fair. But if it's less than 0.6, there might be something that you should be concerned with. And then you, what you do is you look into reliability if an item is dropped. So for example, in this case, if we cannot drop any of the items because the, the reliability would not improve. Even if we would have improved reliability by removing an item, we have to see that how much the reliability is improved. If it's already very good, you do not need to delete item just to add a few decimal points to your reliability. In this case, we are not going to delete any of the items. And here are your item statistics, the mean, the standard deviation and the R correlation item to total correlation should, should be greater than 0 0.30. And in this case, it's fine. Now let's say, let's do it for another one. Analysis, reliability analysis. Let's remove all these from here. Let's do satisfaction. Put it in here. There are no reverse items. Just OK. And here are your results. The overall alpha value is 0.7129. Now, it's it's actually good because it's over 0.71. Now, if you remove satisfaction one, the reliability would decrease. If you remove satisfaction two, the reliability would decrease. Remove the reliability would decrease. But look at in here, satisfaction four. If you remove this item, the reliability will actually improve and it will improve significantly from, from 0.71 to actually 0.79. Now, what is the reason for this? If you look here, satisfaction for item to total correlation, the correlation of this particular item with the overall scale is 0.37, which is actually low, although it's higher than 0 0.30, but it is low. So you might consider removing this item, but in, in, in my experience, I wouldn't do it because your overall reliability is actually good. But what if it was less than 0.7? What if it was 0.6129 rather than 0.7129? So I will come down to this table. And if I look at this table, removing satisfaction four actually increases my reliability to 0.7933. So yes, I will delete this item and then improve my reliability. So this is how you can do reliability statistics in blue sky statistics. Now, how do you report reliability analysis? It's pretty plain and simple. Let's do this. Let's open Microsoft Word. And let's say we give a heading reliability analysis. Reliability analysis was assessed using cron which is alpha. The results of reliability analysis revealed acceptable reliability for 
each of the constructs in the study. Results are summarized in table 1. So you can put in your table 1 here. Reliability analysis. Just like put it in italics. Now add a table. This is for construct number of items. Crown batch alpha and let's say construct number of items alpha value let's say it was CSR it was satisfaction number of items 8 in this case 5 it was 0.87 let's say and it was 0.71 so this is how you can report your reliability analysis and let's like format it a bit uh, it's always a good idea to put in the acceptable reliability 0.70 it's greater than 0 0.70 for each of the construct and you can put in uh, a reference as well here for example in this case I can use the field reference 2005 so this is how you can normally report your reliability analysis thank you very much